Hello day traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this session how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge how to average $1,000 a day net profit day trading only two or three hours a day if $1,000 is not enough you increase your position size now what I teach you in these sessions you can apply to futures Forex and stocks uh, and this is session 82 now I'm, I may disappoint some of you today because we only I think got to $500 uh, however these are trades that I've taken in the live trading room so I run a live trading room before the market opens three mornings a week and so I had 11 trades one loss three break-evens where the commissions were still covered and seven wins so not a bad day but I only trade one contract in the room why because I'm talking and trading at the same time that doesn't go well together by the way when we day trade we need to be focused now stick around because I promise you I'm going to teach you some ideas or teach you some strategies give you a ton of ideas in today's session because we're going to go to the charts and examine the trades I actually took so stick around first of all I do need to pull up let me get that over there we do need to uh, pull up the disclaimer most of you know there's a risk in trading of course feel free to uh, pause the video to read the disclaimer if you haven't already please click on the link below to download my ebook for truth about day trading and make sure you subscribe to my channel now a couple of things I want to cover with you is that trading truly is 90% head stuff now I know many of you want me to get straight to the charts but let me tell you right now if you don't master your mind you're not going to master your trading most people give up on a range of things because they expect unrealistic results traders you've got to work at this it's not rocket science I can guarantee you that but you've got to believe in yourself uh, you might be stuck on the past or dwelling on your past mistakes when it comes to trading which then leads to the fear of the future that is I'm probably going to do that again and it goes on and on and on my job as a trading coach is to not only teach you how to trade but teach you really how to strengthen the mind you see if you've got some personal issues in your life such as lack of money or maybe you're a compulsive gambler etc we tend to bring that mindset to our trading these are things that we need to work on now how we do that of course is in a very very quick advertisement is in my program so I spend a lot of time in my coaching sessions teaching the psychology of trading uh, I teach NLP techniques whole range of different things I've even hired a hypnotherapist where I've had him record a number of sessions so which you can download and listen to because until you master your mind you won't master your trade your trading I should say uh, once again my videos are raw real and unedited so if I say something wrong or get something mixed up or my grammar's not correct you'll have to forgive me I'm human um, so traders are uh, everything I show you on the charts here you can get for $197 uh, there's over 200 hours of online uh, video instruction you don't need to watch them all there's over 18 different setups there's 37 PowerPoints uh, as my members say it's an absolute gold mine you get all of that for 197 then on top of that as a bonus you can also attend eight of my live and they are recorded private group coaching sessions that is twice a week two evenings a week 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I run two hour sessions where I'm teaching traders how to trade we cover a lot of psychology um, uh, we talk about different markets to trade how we trade etc etc if you can't attend those sessions uh, I've got um, traders from all around the world uh, they you can um, watch your recordings so your recordings are uploaded a couple of hours after the live session if after the first month you decide to continue it's only $97 a month thereafter you drop me an email and say hey I'd like to continue and I'll send you the sign up link so end of advertisement let's get into this so first question I want to ask you today is are you merely interested in day trading or are you committed to a day trading career what's the difference well one will do whatever is convenient where the other will do whatever it takes this is not a business whereby you can merely dip your toe in and see how it goes 
all right yes you might kick the bucket around and and see whether you might like the chart and you know can you identify it but traders if you take that set approach you, you're probably wasting your time likewise if you open up a trading account with a couple of thousand dollars and this is all you're doing uh, you're better off going for a nice holiday go and enjoy your money you've got to be committed if you're serious about a day trading uh, career you've got to burn the boats okay this is not rocket science but you've got to be committed and so I suppose what I'm saying here this is not a get rich quick scheme I say to traders get rich slowly because that's the true potential as you're about to see now most of you or when I say most of you of course I've got uh, thousands of thousands of subscribers to my channel see me bring this up every day or in every video why show me a trader that has or a person that has a compelling future and I'll show you a trader that's really got a much greater chance of succeeding what would a thousand dollars a day mean to you and your family five thousand dollars a week is a life changer for most people now we can do it quite easily by trading 10 contracts and only going for one hundred dollars a day that's basically one and a bit trades high probability trades a day and I'll be showing you those step it up with experience and you can trade 10 contracts by $300 a day for an example today I'm going to be showing you how I trade the six tick Renko chart on the NQ now the six tick quite often you'll see me trade the four tick uh, because I'm down under in Australia at the moment and uh, typically around 5 p.m. I love to trade it's pre market open in London and there's a ton of great trading opportunities so I'll generally trade the four tick but as time gets as we get closer I should say to the New York open we need to increase the time frame now before you say to me oh the six tick you'll never be able to, never be able to trade that during New York session you're absolutely correct you increase the time frame now you may have seen me bring this up in prior videos and I'm not going to show you all of my formulas because I've been trading now for 28 years and I've discovered a couple of things that are really unique that work an absolute treat so today you're going to see me with a 6-3 chart and on Renko now you can apply what I teach you to any type of chart time based tick it doesn't really matter and basically any good charting platform as the time range increases or sorry as the speed of the market increases you will jump up the time frame now that also means you need a larger account because we never ever ever risk more than two percent in a trade oh, I've read somewhere you can risk five percent well good luck uh, you're gonna blow your account traders this is money management and psychology is critical in fact there are three critical ingredients to mastering the art of day trading 90% is head stuff 5% is money management and 5% is the strategy so in the end which is the best chart time frame to trade whichever time frame is tradable so today we're actually looking at the six tick where my target is $300 a day we're on the four tick my target is only $200 a day per contract okay and the reason being I've got more capital invested because I'm trading a higher time frame but as you'll see it's really I don't want to say it's a walk in the path park because that's misleading but it's extremely re extremely realistic as you'll see now in the two hours of day trading in the um, live trading room here I had 11 trades, seven wins, one loss, three break even. Now, break even means you move your stop loss to where you entered the trade. All right, that's what break even means. But I always lock in an extra two to three ticks to cover commissions. Okay, so here it was 504 after commissions, where 300 is a is just generally my target on the six tick. Now. The reason we want to cover our commissions it then becomes a basically it was a free trade maybe and, and that's that's another story again we talk about free trades there's no such thing really but on the NQ even if we lock in two to three ticks profit 
that is we've moved a certain way uh, in profit and we go to break even you'll get quite often slippage on the NQ so you might only walk away with one or two ticks we might talk more about that on the chart I don't want to go make this an hour long I want to try to keep it 30 40 minutes so what does this really mean traders if you're going to trade the six tick I'm going to tell you the truth about how much capital you really need to do this correctly right um, because you need three uh, six thousand dollars why because your stop loss may be as high as hundred and twenty dollars now if you start off with six thousand and it's alright hang around because I've got some good news for you as well uh, where you can start with a hell of a lot less if you start off with six thousand go for three hundred a day within eleven weeks uh, trading eight contracts that's eleven thousand US a week and your account is now fifty four thousand now how do we get there so it really comes down to okay that sounds great we've got a 24 tick stop as a maximum that's going to be your maximum size stop you'll ever need quite often it's smaller than than that okay I need to execute on average uh, three to four trades a day now if you're a scalper like I am you know I might go up to as many as six trades a day on average today it was 11 uh, that is this day I'm showing you here but that doesn't really matter as long as I'm well and truly in profit and you see what a scalper does how I trade I usually go for a fixed target and once I get to so many ticks I will go to break even now I go to break even very early and one of the challenges is that it can move down I get to break even comes up stops me out then it continues as you will see in a number of examples that I'm going to be showing you today so on average three to four maybe five trades a day and you'll see just how many of those there are now even if you've got six thousand dollars start on a micro and even before you start on the micro you start on the simulator so you only need six hundred dollars now based upon netting twenty dollars a day whoops or should that be let me just check something did I do that on twenty um, just make sure that one's ah, actually I might have fluffed this one up actually so I've actually um, uh, 600 for oh I tell you what I haven't finished preparing this slide never mind this is on the four tick I started to work on this one see I told you I'm I'm human um, so here uh, this is a, a little bit out actually so um, I have a very similar slide here for the four tick which is what I normally have so there it would say four hundred dollars based on twenty dollars a day trading the micro in 12 weeks our account would be that then we roll over and trade the big contract very very similar here trading the uh, six tick uh, yes the six tick threw me out there a minute now the reason this is important traders is that if you've got a smaller account you can see there within 12 weeks bringing in uh, $30 a day you can see where you are now what's the difference between 20 and 30 or the four and six tick well the higher the time frame the larger the moves okay and so what we can see within 12 weeks we've now got nearly 7,000 we then so we got 7,000 now we roll over and we start trading the big contract so we started off with uh, $600 in 12 weeks we roll over we then look at this here 11 weeks later so 23 weeks this is the potential income we have within 23 weeks after you do your trading on the simulator okay so let me mention that Okay, because we probably if you become a member of mine and join me in my rooms we're going to get to know each other pretty well and I'm not going to mislead I'm going to tell you how it is now how long do you have to be or stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable okay but the great thing is most trading platforms you can practice as long as you like before you go live you might even start then on the micro trade for a month or two on the micro get used to using the uh, the super Dom making your trades and switch up if you've got the money there's so many options now what is really important also you'll hear me talk a lot about this is the Goldilocks rule 
in today's session when I get to the charts you'll probably see I execute a number of trades and a number of different types of setups now what is important if you're a brand new trader that we remember and even if you're a trader that's not making money or have found it difficult in the past we need to remember the Goldilocks rule and that is uh, not too easy not too hard just right so I teach my traders how to trade uh, reversals trend continuation there's many different types of setups there's probably a handful of core setups that we trade every day but you want to start off with only two you focus on those where you own them you can recognize the setups in a blink of an eye this is how you master the art of day trading so it comes down to how do we get there then well let me show you how so in going to the charts here are some critical factors that we need to consider every single day now if you're brand new to trading or a new trader you may not be familiar with these but they're very straightforward and thanks to modern technology most trading platforms will plot these automatically on your screen but all of these levels here become major support resistance levels and they're predictive uh, levels and even I'm going to say they're even predictive indicators well experienced traders will say well how can an 89 EMA and a 200 be predictive because so many traders trade into them okay they're a forward um, uh, indicator traders will trade into these for an example pivot levels the prior days open high low and close the 89 and 200 EMAs your intraday swing highs and lows they make excellent targets in the current days high and low if I was to spend a half an hour with you on each of those you'd really fully understand them so watch your thinking that is if you're saying to yourself oh, oh gee this is complicated what's your thinking no it's not it's a little bit like learning how to drive a stick shift or a manual as we call it down under in Australia comes down to just spending 30 days starting to get to know the lingo it's not difficult but you've got to watch what you say to yourself you can learn this so let's get to the charts so here we're going to start off and look at a six tick Renko now the reason I like using Renko is I love tick charts as well by the way for the seasoned traders I don't like time-based charts big candles are evil okay and the reason being I like to put my stop loss one tick above or below the swings from where I entry enter so say if I'd have entered up here I'd like to have my stop one tick above now typically I will use what we call for the experienced traders here a uh, a, a, a stop order a buy stop uh, order or a sell stop order so I'll put that in advance uh, the little arrows you see there that's um, very straightforward I'm not going to give you all the secret sauce today but they're called that's called the t20 you once you learn what that is aha uh -huh, that makes sense so it's um, basically can possibly identify a reversal and so what I've got down here is some stochastics and I've got a tailored it's called a zero lag MACD it's a lot more sensitive than your traditional MACD up here that is a 200 EMA and this is my 89 and I call see the orange and turning blue I call that the cloud so let's kick this off and start looking for potential trades now please remember that uh, these are trades taken in a room and I'm talking and trading at the same time and this is not meant to be an excuse so if I get in late or I get out of a trade when I shouldn't have uh, I wear it on my shoulders too many traders want to blame the market makers a bad fill um, uh, bad data or some other reason I accept it if I stuff up a trade you know what I do I tell my members why I want them to learn from the error that I may have just made and so um, uh, as you get older I'm, I'm in my 60s now <laughs> as you get older you don't care as much as what people think uh, about you so if I make an, if I stuff up a trade I'll tell traders and explain what I've done wrong and what I will do differently next time 
So let's kick this off. So first of all, we call this or I call this a 200 EMA overshoot. I just want to show you here on this one how important learning how to trade and excuse this beep so I'm just going to turn my air conditioner down there we go I'm going to show how important uh, the combination of moving averages and time frames I use are so let me just start uh, minimize this here just minimize that there now what we've got on the uh, left here on the right sorry is a is what I call an entry chart and then I've got uh, sorry entry chart anchor chart one anchor chart two I it's ideal if you've got two charts because sorry two um, screens because it's great to be able to have your entry chart fully expanded like this and have another screen with two-thirds of it set up with a higher time frame and an even higher time frame if a new trader finds that difficult I say look use your entry chart have your anchor chart one so what I'm going to do is just show you something here why this is so important see this overshoot we actually by the time we got in this trade it was uh, no we were still above so this is called a 200 EMA overshoot but what I want you to do is to look over on your anchor chart what's happening on our anchor chart one right there you're bouncing off a down trending EMA now this is a cross between a 2 and a 3b very high probability down here by the way remember I was talking to you about the current days low or current days high indicators plot all of this automatically for us and this white paint bar you see just there that's called my super scalper when I trade the NQ to me that's very very important because it can actually make you trade your trading basically mechanical because if you don't have the super scalper you're not going to take the trade okay so I want to see the super scalper whether it be a counter trend trade or for low or high or whatever or a with trend trade and there's some other things naturally I don't want to make it too simple but what I want to show you there was a relationship between the EMAs and the different time frames that I use because when you've got multiple EMA bounces on a couple of different charts you've got what we call a loaded trade so let's expand this I just wanted to show you that so we've got an overshoot now as we come down and let me just scroll one one by one I wasn't in a trade there you'll see in a moment when I'm in so as we come down now for your Fibonacci fans see this uh, swing just here and so uh, don't worry traders uh, Fibonacci can be a bit um, overwhelming for new traders but I just want to show you this here look at that just there see this level just here from the low to the high to this turning point 61.8 percent we see this every day so when you've got a new lower low and you get a pullback like that quite often you'll get a fib bounce off that 61.8 and that's just by coincidence by the way because I know I've got a trade not too far away from here now these little tips and ideas can make you an absolute fortune as you understand them but it's all right my main trading is not about Fibonacci that is uh, not about trading fib levels but what we've got to here is you can see I've got a downtrend on the anchor chart one we're in a downtrend so as I pull pull up I'm expecting a re-entry as we come up here now right there what you'd see you wouldn't see that paint white paint bar there straight away what you'd see there is a red candle whenever you have price action retrace back to your EMAs that you'll get ready so we have a get ready get set and go okay so right here we've got a potential trade now this is 307 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time so 4 407 uh, Eastern Standard Time now don't worry you don't have to get up that early you can get up a bit later if you want to trade the pre market open and remember the markets open at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and so you've got fantastic trading from 6 p.m. yes the markets are open the futures markets are open 23 hours a day now the volumes nowhere near as high as say what during the New York hours are but there's some fantastic trading 
this time of day really and all the way back I won't scroll back now but if we were to go back hours you'll just see the beautiful trends okay so in other words you can still hold a job uh, and we know what job stands for the acronym job just over broke until you master your day trading okay so uh, now a lot of these entries I will tell you I'm in slightly late might be looking at other time frame other markets but I'll, I'll explain as we go along so just here I do have a potential setup now I did not enter until just here in fact um, uh, for members that are watching this you probably saw you had a just an, a beautiful t3 just there okay uh, t3 is a very high probability trade very easy to learn so you just had a classic t3 here we got a t20-1 so you'll find I code we've got you know long names for what exactly they are now but this is a t20-1 we could have entered either there or here now this is a trade that I went to break even on now usually I go to break even on a trade because I've usually gone down five steps now let me just tell you this here I explained this I should say excuse my grammar each one of these candles or bricks is a bad rank Renko actually means bricks I just call them candles is six ticks in size and that's where if I say it's a six tick Renko from the height of a low of those that's six ticks so these steps a half of that three ticks so each step is worth $15 okay now once I hit uh, five steps I will go to break even that is I'll, I'll automatically on my ATM it'll take me to break even plus three ticks to cover commissions so here I can't I, I don't even think uh, one two look I've gone to break even I can't remember whether I did that manually or whether it was automatic there but I went to break even uh, there's my entry so I picked up a couple of ticks out of that trade but then I had another one right there so it was both a slingshot and a 2b entry thank you very much and down to the low of the day so here's the first lesson when you have the market flow into a pivot into the high or low of day into major support resistance areas and you've got the support of the cloud that's where you want to or consider going for a larger target so I could have actually squeezed more out of this one and the reason being you can see over there that was the low they make excellent targets so it was trade number two we then had a bounce I'm not going to talk too much about um, trading our reversals etc we then rallied up now uh, this particular trade here it didn't qualify there's something we look for and now I've got look and with this trade here I was looking for a market reversal the more often you come back to a 200 EMA overshoot 200 200 200 the more likely we are to have a reversal and this is where we'll look again at the anchor chart what's happening on your anchor chart one in fact for members watching that was a t10 so we had a t10 entry just there and I got up there and decided to cut that trade out uh, break even at a couple of ticks once again and in this case this was actually a bit of an error I really shouldn't have taken that trade it was a high risk trade so I got out of it at break even yes it rallied up a few ticks but I just shouldn't have really taken that one now very quickly most of you or the experienced traders can see what we've got here we've got some beautiful divergence just there divergence is where in this case you're making high highs and you're making lower lows so we could have actually jumped in that would have been a really nice divergence trade there so moving right along okay so pulling back in now as we pull back whenever you're trading with the trend you're looking for retracements and as you pull back to your 89 and 200 you're anticipating a trend continuation trade in most cases little different if you had this after major divergence got to be very careful of those setups but as we pull back here is trade 
number four. Now with trade number four, we look down below. What have we got down below? The low of day. You want to be careful when you're taking these trades that you're not too close to these low of days. Why? Or high or pivots or other major areas of support resistance because we bounce off them. If you've got some momentum behind you, that is you've got plenty of room to your major area support resistance, you usually punch through. So down we go, we punch through, beautiful, hit my target. But if you've got an entry right on these area, uh, on the support resistance areas, can be pivots, swing lows, swing highs, etc., quite often you'll bounce off those levels. So that was trade number four. Trade number five, just um, this is just a classic uh, trade entry, just a 2B. Uh, we did have a little bit of divergence, got a great downtrend. The clouds in our um, in our area in our in our area supporting the trade. Down we go. Thank you very much. We pop through um, uh, the low of day. Now here's what I do as I'm selling into these areas. If I am closer. If I haven't automatically gone the break even, I'll make sure that uh, the matrix on the on the super dom, I'm a, I'll manually go to break even just in co in case we bounce. But here we got out there um, picked up uh, our full ticks. Thank you very much. Because quite often, once again, you get to those levels. What happens? We bounce off those levels. Okay, down we go. And by the way, there's a ton of other potential trades here uh, on the way down starting to bottom out here uh, that was another 2b which I wasn't on here we come down uh, and, and got to remember I'm talking non-stop <laughs> usually to members all right so now I've got a uh, this is a t10 so I've taken this as a t10 so experienced members here uh, watching these this is a t10 entry uh, up we go and thank you now this is one here where uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I didn't get filled. We hit plus six, come out. I still picked up some ticks out of it, but I didn't quite hit my uh, seven steps. Now, moving along here, trade number seven. Ah, okay, so trade number seven, I shorted here. To, now, oh, I went to go long. Now I have a setup we called the uh, the three musketeers and this is one where it was actually an error I shouldn't have gone long here we still on both uh, on all three charts entry chart anchor chart one anchor chart two we still had a strong downtrend traders the trend will continue about 80 percent of the time okay so this here was a loss and this is still so I got in and was stopped virtually immediately on that now lesson the major lesson thus far can you see how many trend trades you could have taken and made money now the deeper the pullback the larger the move the shallower the pullback quite often you'll get smaller moves so we're looking for what we call two B's okay stopped out of that one now looking for my next trade now we actually had one there which I wasn't in so it was a trade entry I wasn't in on that one and this is a great thing about this now this is after an hour we've had seven trades and a ton I haven't taken and a lot of them would have been winners is you can miss out on trades and still do really well as long as you're consistent now here I'm pulling back now I'm pulling back here and just there I've got a little double top uh, this is a little bit the farm so members watching this that's a, a little bit the farm as you can see just here uh, by the way traders we call it a bit the farm but it's pretty much a um, bit of tongue in cheek we never ever risk any more than two percent of our account and as you build your account you lower that down to 0.5 to one percent you get a lower rate of return on your account but makes trading a lot easier now this is one here where I hit five steps one two three four you can't see it there your tail and your entry that was five steps so we went to break even and I got out of that with only one tick to spare but at least the commissions are covered so the commissions are somewhere around what is it four dollars twenty something like that 
with ninja trader so one tick is worth five dollars so it covers your commission <clears throat> excuse me and I then had a re-entry straight after right I was very confident with this potential move here I re-entered what's in front of me uh, I had pivots below that's why I think uh, see I've got a pivot down below this is something you've got to do regularly what I just did then because if you had a pivot so if we entered a trade here and you had a pivot just there quite often you'll bounce straight off it so this is why you've got to keep an eye on where your major EMAs are where all of these areas are now likewise when we take a trade like here remember on that slide and I'll show you this again you want to know where your intraday swing highs and lows are where your current days high and low where at the low you want to know where these swings are and the reason being being traders they make excellent targets so if you want to set and forget that's a way to do it you can actually go right that might be nine steps okay uh, so it'd be nine by fifteen dollars down to that low now usually I will what I call front run an order depends how fast the markets moving meaning I will get out just before the low so anyway I then had another entry I came down and one two three four five six didn't quite hit our seven steps picked up a few ticks out of that one that was uh, I think about six to nine ticks thank you very much so a tick uh, and with the NQ um, and I know I get a lot of Forex traders you talk in pips the NQ each point is worth $20 and there are four ticks to a point okay so uh, I don't talk in points but I talk in ticks so here down we come now as your retracing here so normally uh, this would be right there that would be a trade obviously I didn't get in on this one and down we come thank you very much so I'm looking for my next setup now that there would have been for oh, and look at this here you just missed the pivot and now we've punched through so we're just here what have I got I've got a t10 just here so I entered this t10 and yes I'm in uh, one candle late so there when we enter the 89 like this the break of the 89 I'm usually targeting the 200 EMA we'll see if I've done that on this one uh, and I love it when the 200 is well away from the 89 because we usually go up and give it a big kiss so uh, not always but usually so this is uh, what I call a t10 ah, okay so we punch through but see how I um, covered my trade right there uh, one two three four five six well there you, there you go anyway um, that was my break even so just there uh, and I do have a, a trade just here and for members this is a 3b but quite often with a 3b I'll wait for a second entry when I get a deep pullback so that's what's happened here we pull back and yes this is my second entry and the reason I do that trade and let's just check this out because we've had a new lower low so we go from here up to here and low low and behold you can't see that we hit it right to the tick happens every day you've got to have that you've got to meet a new have a new lower low or a new higher high but you'll come back and retrace and hit that 61.8 all the time now don't be fooled by that and this is where a lot of fib traders get it wrong they think it's going to automatically lead to reversal not necessarily because if you've got major EMAs above and you've got your higher time frames are trending uh, you'll quite often get this so now this is trade number 11 and this is just before the uh, room finished for the day actually so I sold this down to the pivot and see here how we then get a bit of a bounce now we did eventually punch through this is just before the room finished and yes I know traders it's a t20-1 uh, so it would have been a nice trade back down to the low of day so what we had there traders 
um, was 11 trades for seven wins there were three break-evens I'm a very cautious trader uh, yes I know if I went for the runners I'd do much better but it reminds me of Marty Swartz they call him the pit bull Marty's in his late 70s and Marty typically earns 300 to 500 thousand a month uh, trading the ES he mainly trades options now so he switched from futures but as Marty openly says one thing that he's never been able to do is to hold on to the runners most of his trades is out within minutes no longer than five minutes in and out in and out that's what scalping is but also it means that we've usually got smaller stop losses which means lower risk uh, and you can hit your targets a lot quicker so that's what you know that's what it's about but as you can see if we stayed with a lot of the trades we would have hit our targets a lot faster for an example this is live right now so what we're looking at right now traders this is the four tick now my part of the world it's 150 a.m. Central Standard Time now in 10 minutes time we're going to have the uh, uh, the Frankfurt open which opens up basically an hour earlier than London now there was a 3b uh, down here and you can see a market reversal now how we identify by the way the the change in trend is when we have a new higher high and a new higher low and what makes it very easy is the super scalper so I'm looking for a new higher high to confirm the trade yes we can look for you know it's basically a breakout pullback strategy but it works very very well in identifying uh, reversals and look at this here once again there is the day's high that is your target but with that being said now you can see here if we stayed with this trade we had a pullback and then we went up there and hit it I prefer to hit my seven steps which we romped in there wait for the pullback wait for my it's that's called a, a, a two-legged pullback by the way and then we jump in and we target it again that's what I prefer to do so traders come and join my classes let me teach you how to day trade um, uh, if you like what you see after one month you can then continue with my uh, $97 a month in the, um, uh, the live coaching room you can maybe even then upgrade and upgrade and attend my live trading room if you wish but why not tip your toe in to begin with uh, <laughs> uh, but only do it if you're really serious about day trading all right look I don't need the money I take the money and I don't want to sound egotistical but I don't need the money I could jazz this up so much more for you show you unrealistic compound tables and really spread it on you but once again I've got traders that have been with me for seven eight years in my live room all right so here for 197 you get all of my indicators hundreds of hours of coaching you get um, look I won't even get into this 38 I think 38 power points it goes on and on uh, all of this for 197 from there you like what you get you can join you know log in get my coaching traders I only want a day trade 30 minutes to an hour a day that suits me okay the young guns they're happy to sit there for four or five hours a day I want to scalp get my thousand a day and uh, finish up so traders um, hopefully you found this um, uh, entertaining as well as interesting come and join me become a member and uh, uh, that is if you're serious about hey I want these sorts of results come along and join us and I'll show you how to do it so traders um, thanks very much and uh, this is session 82 and I'll see you on or in the next session thanks traders